Good evening, everyone, and welcome back in for another episode of Swiss Cheese and Beats. My name is Daniel. This is episode 21, and today we're going to be reviewing our very first Promark marching snare drum stick, and that is none other than the Jeff Osdemore DC-8 and DC-18i. Let's go! getting started I'd like to say welcome to all of you that are new to the channel thanks so much for stopping by and checking it out on this channel you'll find a bunch of product reviews that I do I talk a little bit about marching percussion approach as well as have some exciting things coming down the pipe for 2018 so while you're here if you like what you see consider hitting that red subscribe button down below a very special thank you to both Jeff Osdemore and Kyle Thomas of Promark Jeff was so gracious enough to set up an introduction between myself and Kyle Kyle handles the educator and artist relations for Promark. And if you follow me on Instagram, you either probably saw the live video or the picture posted of just how generous Kyle and the Promark team were to send all kinds of goodies for the show. We have plenty of items that we're gonna be reviewing in the future episodes. So Kyle, on behalf of myself, as well as the audience, a very big thank you to you. Yeah! Now, of course, with that being said, this review, like all reviews on this channel, are 100% non-sponsored. I don't receive any kind of payment for this review. I don't receive a script of anything I'm supposed to read. I simply receive the product, I experiment with it, and I find things that I know are gonna interest you guys as an audience. Now let's talk a little bit about the man behind the sticks, Mr. Jeff Osdemore. Jeff currently serves as the Grapevine Colleyville School District Director of Music for their iUniversity Prep program. Before that, from 2004 to 2015, Jeff served as the percussion coordinator for Colleyville Heritage High School. He also led the percussion programs at the three feeding middle schools as well. On top of all of this, he was also the director of jazz studies, as well as the co-director and co-arranger for the Colleyville Heritage High School Marching Band. Under Jeff's leadership, the Colleyville Heritage Band and Percussion Program gained national notoriety. The Percussion Program won the PASIC Marching Festival, the Lone Star Drum Contest, as well as won the Percussive Arts Society Call for Tapes. From 2006 to 2010, Jeff served as the percussion arranger and caption head for the Blue Knights Drum and Bugle Corps. And in fact, in some form or fashion, whether it was as a performer, arranger, or consultant, he has also worked with the Phantom Regiment, the Cavaliers, and the Southwind Drum and Bugle Corps, just to name a few. Overall, I think it's important to note that Jeff is an outstanding all-around percussionist, not only studying extensively the orchestral percussion field, but also being a touring drum set performer. Now on to the stick. This stick, like many other sticks, are made of hickory wood, which is a very strong wood, very durable, very shock resistant, which works out well considering we're in high tension snare drums as well as quads. The stick comes in right at 17 inches long, has a thickness of 0.720 of an inch, so it's gonna feel a little thicker in your hands, a little meatier and it weighs right at 3.4 ounces. In fact, this pair that I have weighs exactly at 3.42 ounces. So they match to the 100th of an ounce. 100th. These guys aren't messing around. The stick has a medium taper, which you can see here from the shoulder to right underneath the bead. In fact, it's like the perfect amount of taper because with the thickness of the stick, it still creates this nice defined collar at the bottom of the bead. The bead of the stick is an oval shaped bead, which is really nice because you have a nice fat sweet spot here in the middle of the bead for a nice big fat sound. And because of the shape, even if you come in at a slightly steeper angle, you're really not gonna lose much sound production. And of course, in red, the Promark logo, as well as the red branded stripe right across the stick, as well as Jeff Osdemore's signature along with his nickname, The Oz, right under that. 
The butt end of the stick is nice and rounded off, very smooth, which you know I'm a huge fan of, and actually has these two very unique rings built into the butt end, which actually have a very special meaning to this stick. So when Jeff was designing the stick, he wanted to find a way to acknowledge his orchestral as well as his drum set background as he entered the rudimental arena. So much of his percussion roots have really to do with those two fields, and he just wanted to have something special, even if it was through symbolism, to be a constant reminder to him as to where he came from, and that's why we have these two rings. The weight distribution on the stick is very much in the middle and in the back of the hand, but as soon as you start to approach into a drum, you just feel all that energy transfer from back here all the way to the front of the stick, and that's gonna give you this nice, fast action, super quick rebound off a drum or even a pad. So you actually get a couple of advantages as a player from this with this stick. One is you feel like you're in total control of the stick because the weight distribution is either right near or in your hands. And two, you just feel like you can play a thousand times faster with these sticks. It's really counterintuitive, it's very weird, but it's just like mind blowing. It's like, as far as sound quality goes, these things just produce a massive wall of sound. I mean, I'd be very hard pressed to not make a nice dark warm tone on the instrument at any dynamic level. These things are just beasts. You feel like you have a well of dynamics in your hands where you can just keep going and going. What I would be really interested in finding out is the life length of these sticks. I foresee them being on the greater side as far as durability goes, just because of the build, the thickness. So you guys that already have them, I need you to chime in down below and tell me how long a pair of these sticks last you because I expect them to go a pretty long time. And now on to the second version of this stick, which is the DC-18i. This stick is pretty much the mini-me to the DC-8. I mean, it's made of the same wood, has the same signature and logo placement, same butt end, same bead, same kind of taper. The only thing that really changes is the length, the weight, and the thickness. The 18 eyes come in at 16 and 13 sixteenths of an inch in length. The thickness is right at 0 .680, so they are much thinner than the DC-8s, and they weigh right in at 2.8 ounces. And you can see here that the beads on both sticks are exactly the same size, which is very cool. Stick on your left is gonna be the DC-8, on your right will be the 18i. And one thing about the taper here, it is a medium taper, just like the DC-8 as said earlier. However, it is gonna get a little thinner here simply because we're starting out with a thinner stick, but it does create this nice defined collar right under the bead of the stick, just like the DC-8s. The weight distribution on this stick is gonna be much more front heavy, which actually works out really well because with the reduction of thickness as well as weight in the stick, it's gonna to contribute to still get you that really fast action and rebound off the drummer pad, as well as contribute to making a great sound. This feels like a great stick to get in the hands of younger musicians, especially as they start making their turn into studying rudimental percussion. While they're developing those smaller muscle groups that we need to control those fast velocities when we play rudimental percussion, it's still going to feel like a marching stick because it technically is still a marching stick. So it's gonna fit much better in smaller hands and still give them that nice big quality sound they're looking for out of a marching stick. As far as application go, with the DC-8s, I would definitely stick to outdoor ensembles. If you use these indoor, there's a very good chance that you're gonna overbalance the overall ensemble and pretty easily at that. Although I'm sure that there are some band directors out there that constantly say that the drums are always too loud, right? No, I'm just kidding. Or am I? As far as the 18 eyes, these things are super versatile. You can use them indoors, you can use them outdoors for a stick change to maybe have a lighter touch. You can go with middle school students on these as they start going into their rudimental studies as we talked about earlier. I'm even so inclined to try these out in some field drum solo work, like maybe working out of the Pratt book or even a Charlie Wilcox book. I bet you these would work great in that aspect. To get your hands on these sticks, I've created a couple of links for you down below to check out. And as always, I wanna hear from you guys. A lot of you who saw that I was about to do this review have told me you've been using these sticks, you love them. I wanna know what you feel about them as far as your feedback goes. Leave that in the comments below. If you have any other questions about these sticks that maybe I missed or didn't cover, please also leave that for me down below and I will be sure to get back to you. 
If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're on social media, please consider sharing this video using those share options down below. Hey, I got it right this time. And if you haven't yet done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you next time.